Hi guys, here Carlos Diaz with One Exam Prep, and I've got a two different topics to talk about today. Number one, we have book updates, and number two, we have some very interesting news that got published this week in regards to contractors and contractors' licenses. One of the news that we have to bring to you, and it's very important, are the new book updates. Every so many years, every so often, the state updates the edition of the books. There may not be many, many changes, but there are definitely changes in a several of these books. And they do this in a, in a continuous throughout the years, um, depending on which books may need updated. However, we just had a really big one. Starting on the 1st of July that just passed last week, all of the building codes are now required to be 2020 building codes in order to be utilized on your exams. Are there many changes? Perhaps not. It's something that you're gonna go through through your studies, but you can pretty rest assured that whatever changes are, will be more than likely the things that you will find during the exam. This is why you need to get your books updated, make sure they're up to date, and that way you'll be able to achieve success during your examinations. Now, not only we have those updates in July, but also we have another big update in October. That's going to be your Florida Contractors Manual. Okay, we have been testing with the 2017 edition. In October, you will need the 2021 edition. The use of the 2021 edition got postponed due to COVID. It was not even published. It got published very last minute by the state. This is something that no one had control over, uh, but it is published. We all we are already distributing this book out with our book packages. So you can attain, when you get your books, the most update books that you will need for the remainder of the year, okay? So please be aware, now starting this past 1st of July, all your building codes should be 2020 and in October, your Florida Contractors Manual will be the 2021 edition. So reach out to us, number is right here, or you can send me an email right here. If you have any questions in regards to your books, in regards to your license, uh, what is the best approach for you, what is the best program, and we'd be more than happy to assist you. Okay guys, now for the second part of, of our updates. These are some pretty important and pretty big news that the ABC, the Association of Builders and Contractors, released yesterday. Now, why is it important? Because it affects every single one of us in the construction industry. There is a major shortage of licensed contractors nationwide. One of the things that during the beginning of the pandemic was deemed that construction industry is considered essential. A lot of people took leave of absence, a lot of people took unemployment benefits at the time to be able to spend time with the loved ones, whatever the circumstances may be. But right now, the ABC estimates and the Department of Labor estimates that within the next year, we should hire at least an additional 430,000 more licensed employees nationwide. Now, what does that mean to you? that the opportunities are opening. There are too many jobs for the amount of contractors. And if you are in the industry, you can pretty rest assured that you're getting calls left and right to do work. So what you need to do is get properly licensed, pass your exams, submit your applications, document everything that you need to do, open your company and the opportunities are there for you. And that's what we're here for. We're here to assist you to be able to reach those goals for you so you can become independent, so you can grow your company in the most legal and speedy fashion possible. A couple other neat little notes, that the construction industry has lost such a substantial amount of manpower, so not only licensed contractors, but also manpower, where they are given incentives for people going into the industry. Extra bonuses, scholarships, this is one of the things that you might be able to negotiate with your employer. Another thing that has passed is also this bill that's being pushed through Congress of new infrastructure and maintaining 
infrastructure, pre-existing infrastructure. In order to do those jobs, these are going to be government jobs. You must be a licensed contractor. So what does that mean to you? Guarantee work, guarantee income. One of the things that you can always observe of what the economic health of a nation is, look at their construction industry, look at their established infrastructure growth, the housing industry. There's been such a big housing boom once again that there is not enough inventory of pre-existing houses. A lot of that inventory is also very highly priced. So people cannot afford, new homeowners cannot afford pre-existing housing. Companies and investors are looking for economical housing for first timers or empty nesters, but new and economical built residential structure. So this is, again, another opportunity that we have as contractors in order to obtain your license. If you have any questions in regards to this, we'll be more than happy to assist you. You can give me a call right here. My number's right there, that's my direct number, or my email, which is right around here as well, okay? And I'll be more than happy to assist you with any of this topic, informing you and helping you to get your license. So guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope to hear from you soon and uh, thank you for your time.